I thought I'd do a video today to wrap up the trailer build. This is the project that was started uh, way back at the end of May, 1st of June. The project is pretty well complete, so I thought I'd do just a walk around, let you see what it looks like. And then I'm going to talk through a few of the features and decisions that I made. You can see the motorcycle wheel stops up there in front, the two of them. I'll go through that in more detail in a minute. The tailgate does remove. Here's the other side. I thought I'd uh, point out a few of the specifics that I chose regarding this project. The first is I use stainless steel hardware wherever possible, like you can see here for the trailer clamp, the trailer spare tire clamp. Also here at the tongue, the bolts that hold the coupler on originally came with it came with just two through bolts, very long bolts, and went all the way through. I replaced those with stainless steel, four individual stainless steel bolts that only go through uh, this section here on each side. So I, I have four separate bolts with aircraft nylock nuts on the inside. I felt better about that rather than having this coupler depend on two bolts, now it actually depends on four. The hooks on the end of the chain I replaced with these quick links. These are 5 16 quick links. I just feel they're more secure. I'm not real wild about the hook idea. You can see the picture for the wiring here it does work. I've tested everything. It's a two inch ball, which I found a bit interesting on a relatively small trailer like this. The trailer does tilt, however, I'm not a big fan of tilt trailers either. So I did allow enough uh, wire up underneath there for the taillights to accommodate tilting if I ever need to do it. Though I'm not expecting to. Uh, I have ramps that I'll use to load this trailer. But I did allow for tilting if it ever became necessary. A couple of other things. On the corners I did install these stake brackets on all four corners. It's simply to pull the joints up tight. I could have probably gotten a lot more elaborate about that, but for my purposes I think it, it'll be fine. It pulls these together and makes a nice rigid box. I talked about the uh, wheel chocks for the motorcycle front wheels. You can see those here. I have two with a third set of, of attaching brackets in the middle. So I could pull these two, move one to the middle, put the other one aside and have one wheel chock in the middle only to allow for flexibility. Keep in mind this is intended as an equipment, small equipment and motorcycle hauler. It's not intended to be used generally for things like hauling bark or other um, landscaping materials where those would become a problem if you had to hit them with a shovel of course. I also included tie down brackets in all the corners. Those are bolted through. In most cases they go through the frame at a couple of spots where they they don't but I have plenty of them as you can see to allow me to hook into with my straps. Again, I use stainless steel bolts to hold those, to mount, as you can see on top of the fender, mount the fenders down. There's the taillight bracket. That's a plastic bracket. I'm not sure I'm going to stay with that. I might replace it with the metal one, which I actually have. It seems a little flimsy to me. It is registered. It has a permanent plate. You notice the, again, the galvanized handles here so that I can easily remove this gate. You also see the corner brackets here and again pretty much the same as you saw a moment ago. So those are the major elements of the trailer. Now one might notice the gaps in the bedding. That's because when I put the trailer bed together which was several months ago now during the summer it was the lumber was still a bit wet and as it's dried out, as is typical of this kind of thing, it's it shrunk and created some gaps, which for my purpose, again, really are irrelevant, won't really make any difference. Over here are the ramps that I'll be using to load and unload anything wheeled that requires that, and I'll, uh, I'll show that set up here in just a minute. In this segment, I'm going to show reinstallation of the tailgate.
One other feature I wanted to show on the tailgate is the T-nuts right here actually are on the opposite side of the tailgate. So the, the fastener, which goes through the outside of the stake pocket, actually comes through like this. You can see I've glued them in, and the idea was that as I tighten the bolt, it actually pulls the T-nut into the wood rather than attempting to pull it out from the opposite side. Uh, this uh, fastener, by the way, is stainless steel, as most of them are, where I had an, had an option to use stainless steel, I did. In this segment, I'm going to demonstrate the attachment method for these wheel chocks. So I have three sets. It's keyed into the slot here, this, this uh, shoulder bolt. You simply align this shoulder with the key. There's two of them, like that. 